Okay, part four wants us to find the equation of the tangent um, at A at 4, 5. So, we're looking for the equation of this line here. And the point is, the key is the fact that the, the tangent line will be perpendicular to the um, radius. Because if we have the, um, the gradient of this line, and a point on the line, which we have, the 4, 5, we can use the equation um, of a straight line, which is y minus y1 equals m, the gradient, times by x minus x1, where x1, y1 is a point on the line. So we need m, we need to get the gradient of the line, and that's going to come from finding the gradient of the radius. So that's the first job, to get the gradient of the radius. And the gradient is changing y over changing x. So y2 take y1 over x2 take x1. Um, doesn't matter which one's x1 and y1 and x2 and y2, I'm going to have um, this as my x2 and y2. So I'm going to have um, 3 take away 5 over negative 1 take away 4. So that's negative 2 over negative 5, which is 2 fifths. But that's the gradient of the radius. We want the gradient of the, the tangent to that line. So the gradient of the, the tangent line is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the radius. So it's going to be negative 5 over 2. So we've got everything we need now. We've got the point, we've got the x1 and y1, we've got the gradient, so we can now use y minus y1, and y1 is 5, equals the gradient of the tangent times x minus 4 for the x1 coordinate. Now it doesn't actually tell us how to leave our answer, but because of this 2, I like to make everything whole. So I'm going to double everything. So I'm going to times the side, the left side by 2 and times the right side by 2, which will just make that 2 disappear. Now I'm going to expand the brackets. And I'm going to move the x's to the left. And I'm going to move that 10 to the right. So we get 5x plus 2y equals 30.